Woof! Just look at this place. This is such a good-looking natural history museum that Vienna and London wanted one of their own when they saw it. Intrigued? Stay tuned for killer roofs, rebel art, and bear whales. Yeah, I just said bear whales. Oh, and if you didn't know we were world-leading, here are some more amazing hidden secrets about the architecture of Oxford University Museum of Natural History, our beloved dodo home. What's this? These tucked away curious carvings gently mock Darwin's just published theory of evolution. How could a bear evolve into a whale? This is satire set in stone, which is awkward because the powers that be changed their mind, saw Darwin was <clears throat> right, and by 1899 put up this statue of him. Let's reverse a bit. Pre-bear whales, the museum was built at a time when science was seen as a way of understanding God's creation, hence this lovely angel, hidden in plain sight right at the front door, holding a Bible in one hand and dividing cells in the other. That's cutting-edge science and religious imagery hand in hand. If you're making a cathedral, and they were, you'll want art. The makers hired the finest Irish stonemasons and a group of bohemian artists known as the Pre-Raphaelites to design and carve meticulous copies of the natural world and sculptures of science in action, making this museum the biggest and best collection of Pre-Raphaelite sculpture in the world. Quite something, huh? You'd think, along with all these sculptures, that the roof would also have been carefully and meticulously planned, but ha ha! This fantastical roof was actually an experiment made out of those railway materials, iron and glass. Um, let's not mention that it actually collapsed in its first year. But the pillar of the design philosophy is that the building itself is there to teach you. Every single one of these columns, for example, is made from a different type of stone, lugged up to Oxford from all over the British Isles. This is a building that has geological teaching catalogues built into its very fabric. And on top of the pillars, an encyclopedia of plant carvings. And on top of these pillars, wrought ironwork of more species. So, you thought that this museum was a place to see dinosaurs, cabinets of things, and insects, right? But even if we hid all that stuff away, you wouldn't be able to escape learning about the natural world. This isn't a shed for specimens, it's an audacious building that actually teaches you as you walk through it. A world first. And it all starts by looking up. Just mind the pillars. <laughs>